Today it's time to start working on the oil feed for the turbo. So oil needs to get here. Obviously supplies the uh, spinning turbo. And then on the bottom, it drains out of there. So I need to get a high pressure oil feed to the turbo and then bring the oil from the turbo down to the oil pan on the engine. This is a Chevy 5.3. So what I plan to do is take the high pressure oil feed out of here. I'll tap that and run some a and fittings and then a braided line to the turbo from there. And for the oil return, it needs to be above the level of the oil. I think what I'll do is put it onto the oil pan. So what I'll do is take the pan off, weld the bung on there, and then an a and fitting from there. And that should be a fairly direct route from the turbo, so the oil drains without restriction. These are the supplies for the oil feed and drain. So the feed will be, so this is what I just took off the engine. What I'll do is, um, so it, this boss doesn't go all the way through. I'll drill that out, and then it's a 1 8, one eight uh, NPT tap. That'll tap it, then the adapter to the AN, and then it's a dash four line, and then that should bring it up to the turbo. On the way out of the turbo, uh, if I remember correctly, that's the drain. Then it's a dash 12 line, and then I have these, basically this, these bungs. I'll weld one of these the oil pan and then uh, and then the dash 12 fittings for the oil pan I probably so I have a 90 that's going to come out of the turbo and then I'm gonna I have a 45 degree fitting that's on the way I'm just waiting for someone to deliver it uh, and that's probably what I'll connect to this the straight I think would work but the 45 will get things out of the way a little bit better The oil feed is basically done. So connect it in there. The line will come up. I'm gonna have it basically in this orientation. I'll um, 
fasten it down better once I have it completely finished. But it'll, I think it'll basically run here. That'll keep it away from the exhaust. And then at the top here, it just connects into a fitting going into the turbo feed. I am a little bit concerned about potential for heat on the top, especially since it's a nylon braided hose and not a steel hose. So I think I'll either wrap that hose with a reflective tape or I might buy a blanket for the um, turbo there. So I have some electrical tape on the fittings. I'm gonna use this hand tool rescue wrench because it adjusts quite finely. So that worked pretty well. My plan is to, put, to weld the bung on here and then it'll have the dash 12 fitting coming from there, running up to the turbo there. So to do that, I'm gonna take the pan off. I haven't done it on this motor before. I bought this motor basically just from a rack and it, apparently it was running so this will give me the chance to inspect the bottom end of the engine which I plan on just leaving completely stock and I'll get the pan off, clean it up, weld the bung on and then put it all back together. So I've encountered a problem, and it's from my own fault, but the um, oil pan doesn't come out with the engine sitting as it is right now. And the problem is this cross brace here. I thought I had enough room there, but I don't. The solutions would be to either lift up the engine, which wouldn't be that hard, except for I don't have the cherry picker in the shop right now. I have it in storage. So I could get the cherry picker and do that and lift the engine up. The other option would be to cut this and then weld like a flange basically on there so this bar would be replaceable come in and out which I could do that um, but that'd be a bit more work and it's not something that's going to need to come in and out very often so I don't really want to do that so I think what I'm going to do is just weld it in place so the pan is off the block right now I'll lift the gasket up so I don't wreck the seal and then I think I'll clean this up drill a hole, clean it up. I, can, I have access to the inside so I can make sure it's clean on the inside and then see if I can take the bung on there. So that was uh, pretty painful to weld. I knew it was gonna be a bit nasty just because obviously it's cast aluminum. It's soaked in oil on the other side. I try to get it clean, but um, Anyway, I got it. I'm, I got the 90 degree on there right now just to kind of to mock it up. I'm probably going to put a 45 degree fitting on there. Um, I'll clean up that weld a little bit. You know, I think it's going to be strong. I think it's going to be, you know, watertight basically. But that was way more hassle than it was worth. If I was to do this again, I would just use a bulkhead fitting uh, on either side. That would have been way faster, way easier and work just as well. So anyway, the um, it's pretty hot right now. I'll just show it. So anyway, that's that's the bung that's welded on, and then the 12 a.m. fitting goes on it. Totally not worth it. I wouldn't try welding that again. I would just do a different fitting. I put some JB weld on there, partly to hide that terribly ugly weld, and uh, partly also just to fill any pinholes if there are any. So I think it'll function. I'll put this together now, put the pan back up. And that's pretty much it for the oil lines. Like I say, I'm waiting for the other 45 degrees. 
but otherwise the lines are all done. I'll just hook them up and then eventually put oil in it and uh, we'll see. Okay, that's it. So as I mentioned, if I was to do this again, I wouldn't try welding it, especially in an awkward position like this. My original plan was to have it take the pan completely off, have it on the workbench, get it, you know, as clean as possible, and then go from there. That probably would have been uh, a bit better. It certainly would have been easier to weld. I probably could have got a better weld out of it after that. But as it is right now, it'll work fine. And in retrospect, I should have just gone with a bulkhead. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, next step will be um, probably just a few, I have a few simple upgrades with this LS engine. I'll be doing that, uh, a few other things along the way. Thanks for watching.